after a book launch is given by y equals to d square minus 5d plus 8d. Now in a problem sum like this, you have to read in English and think in math. So what does y represent? Okay, you have to internalize that this y represents the number of copies sold. And this y is provided by a function here. It follows a function. So what is the least number of days it takes to sell 104 copies of the book? Now if you relate this number 104, what does it? Which variable does it represent? It represents your y, right? So the number of copies sold, y, alright? And d days, and here it relates to 104. What does it mean? It's just saying that basically you, you want to find the least number of days, so-called the smallest number of days, or in our variable here, the smallest d, such that your y, at least, right, the least number of days, huh? such that, that your y, at least, right, it is a so-called uh, more than equals to 104. Okay, it has to be 104. Okay, can I? Uh? So, how do we do this? Now, we know that your y, basically, is a function of d. So, it means that we are talking about d square, because of this, right? Minus 5d plus 80 is more than equals to 104. Okay, so do not forget the four steps that I told you when solving a quadratic inequality. You make sure that the uh, right hand side is zero. You make sure that coefficient of the quadratic uh, power, I mean the power two d square in this case is positive. You find the x intercepts before you sketch the curve. Now here, if I take d square minus five d, okay, let me just uh, edit because I'm writing on the screen, so my handwriting may be a bit uh, ugly. Yeah. 80 minus 104, that will give me minus 24 to be more than equals to 0. Alright, so if I factorize this, this is d plus 3, bracket d minus 8, more than equals to 0. Okay, so this is basically me trying to find the x-intercepts. Okay, I'm trying to find the x-intercepts. So if I were to equate this portion to 0, Right, you will find that uh, the x intercepts basically uh, is d equals to negative 3 as well as d equals to 8. Okay, because I'm factorizing them. Okay, a lot of it, uh, the quality inequalities that you see are so called factorizable. Huh? Okay, uh, so after that, uh, because my coefficient of d square is positive, I sketch my curve, I draw my x axis. I label my um, x-intercept, so to speak, okay? I mean, in this case, it's not really the x-axis, okay? So maybe I, I shouldn't call it the x-intercepts. I should call it the d-intercepts, okay? I should call it the d-intercepts, okay? And I want to find the region where my graph is more than equals to zero. So what does it mean by more than equals to zero? Now, if you remember, this is our y, our y function, which is equals to d plus 3, d minus 8. And if you are interested in it being more than equal to zero, it's the same as you relating it to the y more than equal to zero. Y more than equal to zero means we are looking at the area above the d-axis. Above the d-axis. Okay? Over here. Okay? And solving this will mean that we are not just shading the graph, but you need to deliver the values of d, right, that will give you this gray area here. Okay? So... You can see that for the left hand side to get this portion of the graph above the x-axis your d has to be less than equals to minus 3. for the right hand side your d has to be more than equals to 8 okay and definitely it's an or it cannot be an n all right so again when we solve question we must always take note of the context of the question now what does d represent here d talks about the number of days right and what does it mean? Your D cannot be negative. Alright? So, D must always be positive because you are talking about number of days. Okay? So, here, definitely for D less than 93, you have to reject. Okay? Because your D has to be positive. Okay? Can? So, therefore, the least number of days is equals to 8. Thank you.